Hi folks, this is Vic back again with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to review Lonard Pour Homme released in 1980 by the fashion house Lonard of Paris. The perfumer was Ron Wingrade. It's a leather aromatic fragrance. Top notes are lavender, basil, thyme, also bergamot and petit grain. Uh, mid notes are carnation, patchouli, artemisia, vetiver, jasmine, iris, cedar wood, and cinnamon. Base notes are acmos, leather, musk, also amber, lavandana. Uh, main accords are aromatic, leather, woody, warm and spicy, floral, mossy, smoky, and herbal. Uh, what I can tell you about this scent, this scent is a holy uh, grail to me. It's perhaps one of the best, and I really mean it, one of the best leather fragrance ever made. It's on the same ballpark as uh, Van Cleef Purome, Van Cleef and Arpel Purome, and uh, also later Anteus by Chanel. Uh, also Patou Purome, which was released almost the same year in 1980. It's a very unique scent and unfortunately has been discontinued by the house of Leonard. Uh, I don't know why, because this scent deserves to be on shelves. Is uh, Nowadays, uh, prices are extremely high. Uh, you can find it not for less than $300. And But if you have the cash for it, go for it, because it really deserves, especially if you are a vintage lover as me, and this fragrance is a masterpiece in the bottle. Ron Winnegard, uh, he really made great fragrances. He also made uh, Lagerfeld Classics. He made uh, Furio for the house of Jack Bogart. And uh, also he made uh, many other fragrances, Armani, uh, Pour uh, Femme. Uh, he's a great master performer. He also made another great scent for the house of Leonard, Monsieur de Leonard which I'm going to review later, but Leonard Purom is a masterpiece. Do not get confused uh, by Leonard Ohm, which was released later in 2009, which has nothing in common with the original Leonard Purom released in 1980. Leonard Purom is just an average, very average and very generic scent. And I don't understand why the house of Leonard discontinued that masterpiece and release that very, very average scent later in 2009. Because Leonard Perome 1980 is a kind of uh, scent that once you sniff, you never forget about it. It's a kind of uh, landmark. And I can tell you even, in my very humble opinion, that Anteus by Chanel and many, many other le uh, leather fragrances later got inspired by Leonard Perome. Leonard Perome is a one-of-a-kind scent because personally, I, in my collection, I have lots of fragrances, but the one I really choose and the one is my personal selection is Leonard Perome because Leonard Perome is so well blended, so well composed and extremely complex scent that you don't find a scent such as this easily. It's the, maybe the only scent which we can compare to it is Patou Pour Homme 1980 or uh, Van Cleef and Arpels also Pour Homme, which was dark, very smoky, very leathery. But among among three of them, I prefer still Lonard Pour Homme. So it's my vintage uh, masterpiece I wanted to share with you because on this channel we talk about all kind of fragrances of course but most of you know me that I am a vintage lover and okay maybe it's a discontinued fragrance but nevertheless you can still find it if you search well you can find it if you have a cash for it you can even get it and I wish you that you have a chance or opportunity to sniff Leonard Perron one day because Leonard Perron is a masterpiece in the bottle. Cheerio!